to the ground and uh, I'm gonna rope solo on this micro traction to start and I might switch over to a gree gree or cap lift or a combination um, I like the micro traction because it slides real nice smooth and it looks like the smoky fire burnt out along the base of dome rock and there's tree route, tree up there, that dead tree, that's tree route. And you got this nice little ledge here to start this route, this little baby bonsai pine. And then you start in this crack and if you're leading it, you can get some gear. You get like a three and a two and maybe a one up there before you pop around left and get on the face and then there's bolts so we're gonna go and climb it here's the first anchor it's actually three bolt Got some chains here I think you can actually rappel her out um, except for the second anchor is just a pair of bolts, so you need a, it needs links if you're going to repel it. And climbed from that tree down there, up that corner, crack came out onto the face. And there's kind of a cruxy move here that I think needs a, another bolt. And then I think that would be a nice well protected uh first pitch super fun climb in the last 30 40 feet super cruiser and awesome views you can see that burnout area over here and i gotta go <laughs> there's the needles hey needles looks like they are actually going to be closed again another year i'm pretty bummed about that but um, it looks like, yeah, they're doing another fire rehab or like just fire. I don't know. It's stupid, but looks like it's closed to uh, December 31st, the whole year. Bummer. So here we go. Pitch two. There's only like three pitches. I think the last one's really long. Um, the second pitch is really well bolted. Just a pretty plumb line that kind of Here's the left one up top, and see you at the top of pitch two. All right, top of pitch two anchors. It's also three bolt, but one's really old. And so two nice new shiny bolts, thanks to Chris Adams. And uh, it's a cool stance, although you got to climb a little higher to build your anchor then you can extend it and uh, you've got this ledge to stand on and this moves pretty cool because you come up under this flake you got an old bolt out there 
outright and then you can get gear in this crack and then you pull around left and you start face climbing up onto this ledge and you can kind of see how the route tends left as you go up and if you're ever cruxing on really hard you can kind of make a step left or a step right usually left and uh, ease up a little bit it's just an awesome wall filled with knobs, old bolts. It's a cool rock. Big black holes, holds sticking out. Incredible views. The needles. Oh, how I miss going out there. Yeah, it's such a cool spot. But Dome Rock's cool too. That's what we got. Third pitch is really long, some run out, but really easy as it goes over the head wall and uh, just kind of gets low angle. I'll see you at the top. Finished top rope soloing dome rock. Awesome views from the top. Just eating my wild oak sandwich before I pack up and head down. Um, it took me maybe an hour and a half, two hours to um, set up, rope, uh, rope down, wrap down, and took two ropes. I think I've got like a long red static um, 300 foot rope maybe and then a 60 meter rope that got me to the bottom on the last pitch. Um, yeah I can't remember the length of that red static line. I think it's like a 300 foot rope and that got me through the top two pitches. So it's pretty long and uh, awesome views, even though it's burnt out. Burnt out pretty good, but it's always pretty up here. All right, guys, be safe. Check your those knots and have a good time.